Hi everyone, I'm Cheryl and welcome to the Sewing Room channel. I've been shopping again. I know I've been doing a lot of shopping hauls, but there's a lot of stuff to get for the holiday season. Things were a little slow, I think, coming into the store. So my first stop was our local Walmart store. And here are some fat quarters. Aren't they beautiful? With a fall theme to it. These just came in and I was so excited about it. Really love plaids. Both of these are the plaids. So I picked up quite a few. And then these are some cute little prints right here. Now here is some more fall fabric from Walmart. These are half yard and these are one yard, all with a fall theme on it. And I was really happy to see it already cut and packaged so I didn't have to wait at the cutting table. This is a fat quarter bundle. You're getting five different fabrics in the fat quarter size and usually your fat quarter size is anywhere from 18 by 20 or 21 inches. So it's really nice if you want to make fabric napkins. My main purpose uh, to go to Walmart was to look for some uh, really natural tones that would be good to use in fall projects. So I have this kind of uh, straw color right here and then this has got leaves and um, vines on it. This is a plaid. Now this one is kind of a burnt orange and it's got uh, little leaves on it. I have bought this before and but I was almost out and I really really like it and these are anywhere from half yard to a full yard. This was in the craft section and it's a little wooden plaque and it's already stained and what I'm going to be using it for is one of my cross stitch projects and it's just going to be a small little project and I will have something put on here that I did in cross stitch. And if you're interested in learning about cross stitch, I have a lot of beginner tutorials. So there will be a link listed below your YouTube screen so you can browse through my cross stitch tutorials. My next step was to go to Joanne Fabrics and Crafts in St. George, Utah. Now everybody thinks I live in St. George. No, I don't. I have to travel uh, quite a distance to get there. And it's the closest big city with a fabric store. So I, I like to buy their um, Sherlock thread that's for your serger machines. I needed one more of this color because I was really low on it. When you use a serger machine, you have anywhere from three to four of these cones of thread that it will hold. This is also some DMC large embroidery needles and so I needed some of these. I was running very low on them. So in uh, Joann's they have a nice, a small section for your cross stitch and embroidery projects. I was so happy to see that Joann's had some more ready-made piping and this is made by Wrights. It's half inch wide piping and I got managed to find one in brown which is hard to find, yellow, green, purple is also hard to find, and then this moss green. I bought a little bit of the keepsake quilting fabric and then Joanne has another uh, line of fabric that's an inexpensive quilting fabric and it's right next to the keepsake quilting and I forgot what it's called. So some of these are from that. It was I think on sale for like $3.50 a yard which is a really good price. So I bought a yard of each of these. This fabric here I just absolutely love. It's platitudes and every year I will buy some from Joanne Fabrics and Crafts because I like to make ponchos. I really like wearing ponchos because they're nice and roomy and you, if you're having a, a bloated day you can hide everything in a poncho. And so this is really fun. So if you're interested in making a poncho, this poncho that's over on my left shoulder is made out of platitudes fabric and it's probably the easiest poncho that I have to make. This is inexpensive. You only need most people a yard and a quarter to a yard and a half of this and you can just make a really beautiful poncho. 
I hope you enjoyed this shopping haul experience. Now, if you're interested in buying fall fabrics, of course, the closer it gets to the fall holiday season, the better the sale prices are. So make sure you sign up for the Joann coupon app because you'll get a text message every day and they'll tell you about the latest sales. So you can keep right on top of finding those coupons that will apply to the fall fabric and decor that you want to purchase. So if you're interested in beginner sewing projects, uh, scroll down below your YouTube screen to the description section, click on show more or the down arrow and it will expand open and you will see those links appearing. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time and happy sewing. If you like the Sewing Room channel, one of the best ways to show your support is to subscribe by clicking on that red subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. And make sure you click on the bell so you receive notifications for all my new videos. I'm Cheryl. This is Manny. See you next time.